Hello and thanks for your interest in Top Shelf for Salesforce. Today in this demonstration I'll be showing you how to utilize Top Shelf to maximize your supply chain with your Salesforce.com Enterprise or Higher Edition. The first thing that I want to show you is our Top Shelf Fulfillment application that runs either on a barcode scanning device or a smartphone or tablet computer. Let's first cover some of the features that we have on the barcode scanning device and then we'll get into how the integration between Salesforce and Top Shelf works. Shipping and receiving we'll cover here in a moment. We also have bins within the top shelf system, and a bin allows you to not only know how much product you have, but exactly where it's located as well. You can move products from one bin location to another by using our bin move put away functionality. In the inventory section within top shelf, you have the ability to do cycle counting or physical inventory counts by a couple different methods, a blind count and a technical count. You also have the ability to add inventory directly in the system that's not on a purchase order document. The ability to build kits within the system allows you to take component parts and put them together to be a master part. You can also use our break kit functionality to take a master part and break it down into its individual component parts. Top Shelf's work order functionality allows you to use products on a specific job as well as keep track of labor hours and custom fields. In the tools section in Top Shelf, you have the ability to do label printing and you can print out products by name. You can also print out bin labels in order to barcode your shelves or racks within your warehouse. Printing of labels can also be done as you're receiving product and I'll show you how that works later. You also have the ability to look up products on the fly and set up networkable barcode printers right from the device. Another feature within Top Shelf on the fulfillment side is the tasks. Tasks are assigned from the Top Shelf web page for shipping, receiving, kit building transactions and work orders. Once a task is assigned to a user, they can look up what tasks they have, due dates, and priorities. The Top Shelf backend database is held in the cloud. From our dashboard, you have the ability to look at recent transactions, which is a snapshot of your last 10 receiving and shipping transactions, that can be widened out to view more, or you can search any transaction ever run in Top Shelf by simply searching your transactions. Once on this page, you can sort by any header, or you can look up a specific transaction by any of these fields. From the Top Shelf Reporting section, we have over 100 canned reports within the system. Anything from being able to audit receiving and shipping and moving, look up inventory, look at daily receiving reports or receiving by a date range, look up daily shipping reports or shipping by a date range, and also open shipping transactions that haven't been fulfilled yet. Top Shelf also has a custom report builder that you can build a report around any of the data within our system not located in our canned reports. When integrating with Salesforce, all of your transactions, as well as all of your vendors, clients, locations, and parts will come over from Salesforce in real time and make duplicate records in Top Shelf. The only thing created natively within Top Shelf is your bin locations, and your bin schema can be uploaded from an Excel spreadsheet directly into the Top Shelf system. Now let's take a look at the integration between Salesforce and Top Shelf. Top Shelf has two different types of integrations with Salesforce. The out of the box, which I'll show you today, and we also have a custom integration that will allow you to integrate with several custom or standard objects within Salesforce. We're going to start with a custom tab in Salesforce that Top Shelf has created called Purchase Orders. This allows us to create a new receiving transaction to receive product into our warehouse or one of our many warehouses. By clicking the New button, it'll ask us for the vendor that we want to receive this product in from, and we can select one. And it will also ask us for a destination account. And this will be used if you have multiple warehouses to select which warehouse you want to receive this product into. Once the order is saved, we can add products onto this order. I'm going to order 10 15 cables, one circuit board, and 10 barbecue chicken meals. Once the order is entered into the system, we'll be able to see the quantity ordered, the quantity received, and a receiving indicator that will show us what's happened with this transaction thus far. Once purchase order 00510 has been put into Salesforce, the duplicate transaction is placed into Top Shelf. We can click inside of this transaction to view the exact same information. We're ordering from Computers Incorporated to Scout Incorporated's main location. Our purchase order number is here. The products that we've ordered and the products that we've received. Once the product arrives in the warehouse, we can simply click on Shipping and Receiving and Receiving and look up a document by date, client, vendor, or by part. I'm going to look up in the last one day and it'll bring up all my open receiving transactions. You select the transaction and then we can begin receiving parts. With the 15 cable, if I'm not sure where I keep this product in my warehouse right now, I can certainly do a lookup and see all the different bins that I have those products and quantities associated with them. I'm going to scan bin 1A and enter my quantity received. 
Also, if this product is coming in without a barcode label and we want to barcode it, we can hit the print checkbox and when we save it will print 10 labels to a networkable barcode printer for us to stick directly on the product. Moving on to my next line item, you'll notice that the quantity field changes to serial number and that's because this particular part, when we set it up in Salesforce, required that we receive a serial number associated with it. I can simply scan the bin that I want to put it in and scan the serial number and now my product has been received. Last, I want to show you the barbecue chicken meal because this product requires a lot number. We can scan the lot number and then scan or enter the quantity that we're receiving. You'll notice that I only received 8 out of 10 on this particular product because what I want to do is show you if we try and receive a transaction without receiving all the product in full, we're going to get a message that says that the order is not complete and it will show us our discrepancy. We can also select a reason code that you can customize within Top Shelf to say whatever meets your business needs. We'll say this product is back ordered. Once we've finished that transaction, in real time back in Top Shelf, we'll see that the status is received incomplete. We'll see the received quantity, and we can also click on the detail lines to see the lot number, the quantity, the username that was logged in that received it, and a date and timestamp. We also have a discrepancy log that's going to show us that two of this product was not received because it was back ordered. Within Salesforce, if I go into my purchase orders and look up that purchase order, I will now see the quantity received and my indicator will show complete or under received if I did not receive the product in full. I can also click into a specific product to see all the bins that I have that product in, the total amount that I have, as well as the total quantity, the quantity allocated on orders that I haven't picked, packed, and shipped yet, and my total quantity available. For those of you receiving serialized products, Top Shelf also has the ability to keep track of serial numbers. So we do have this serial number and we can see that it's been received and it's located at Scout Incorporated. We can also go into that asset and create new cases or tasks for this particular asset or serial number as well. This concludes the receiving portion of Top Shelf for Salesforce. Top Shelf uses opportunities for outbound transactions. Once an account has an opportunity tied to it, you can also select which warehouse you want to ship out of if you have multiple locations, a close date, an order number, as well as a ship date. Once the stage is set to closed one and the trigger between Top Shelf and Salesforce is checked, this order is now verified that it's going to be going to Top Shelf for pick, pack, and ship. We'll select our product and the quantities that we want to send out and hit the Save button. Once again, the quantity is on the order, the quantity shipped is all at zero, and the shipping indicator is going to show us that none have been shipped. Top Shelf also does have the ability to email invoices. This invoice is in visual force format and allows me to easily send out an invoice to my customer. In real time, my order will also flow over to Top Shelf. We can look at this order and see the source warehouse that we're shipping out of, the receiver that we're shipping to, the transaction number, a status of open, and how many products have been picked against these line items. You also have the ability to print out a pick list from Top Shelf that will barcode your order, as well as barcode each individual product and show you how many you need to pick and what bins you have those products located in. From the warehouse floor, the operator simply clicks on shipping and receiving and order pick and scans the document or can search for it by date, client, or by part. We'll look up all of our open orders in the last one day and here's sales order 5885. Inside of this order, we can see the products that we need to pick and how many we've picked at this point. I can search for the bins that I have those products located in and select one or I can walk up and scan a bin. My quantity that I'm picking is 5, I click save, and I'm on to the next line item. With barbecue chicken, we're going to be scanning our lot number. I can see that I have 16 available within that lot, but I'm going to be picking my 6. The last line item is my circuit board, and it's asking me for my serial number. Once I scan my serial number, I've now picked my order in full. From the shipping screen, I can scan the document or search for it again, and this will go from incomplete to all picked, letting me know that my order is picked in full. The out-of-the-box top shelf solution allows me to scan a tracking number associated with my shipment and attach it to the order. Top shelf also does have integration with ShipStation allowing you to integrate your FedEx, UPS, and USPS accounts and top shelf will push the manifest to ShipStation allowing you to print out shipping labels and push the tracking number back into top shelf and then in turn back into Salesforce. After the order has been shipped in real time you'll see the status has changed to shipped complete and I can go into the detail and see the user that was logged in that picked it, a date and timestamp, the lot number, and the quantity. 
I can also see shipment tracking information and I can click on the link to actually go to the website to be able to track my shipment or in the event of delivery I can have someone sign on the smartphone or tablet device and see their name the date and time that they signed and view their signature and GPS location within Salesforce if I go back into my opportunities and look at that particular opportunity I'll now see the quantity shipped my indicators showing as complete and the tracking number will also flow back into Salesforce for me as well. This concludes the shipping portion of using Top Shelf to maximize your supply chain with Salesforce. Some other functionality within Top Shelf is the ability to search for assets that have been shipped and to be able to look at where that product is located currently and also an asset history report which will show me everything that's ever happened with that particular asset. It was received by this user at this time and date into bin 1 on this purchase order document and it was shipped by this user this time and date and it was picked from this bin on this document. For customers using lot control we also do have a report called lot recall. This will allow you to enter a lot number and search for it. Once you've entered that it'll show you every time you've ever received this lot and the quantity, how much you currently have in inventory, and every customer that you've ever shipped this product out to. If you'd like to dig deeper into the capabilities of Top Shelf for your business, please feel free to contact us at 651-964-3259 or log in to www.scoutsft.com. Thank you for watching, and we hope to talk to you soon about maximizing your supply chain with Top Shelf for Salesforce.